And just like that, we're back, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. We are doing something unprecedented today in the beautiful state of Utah. We are getting the La Ferrari together with the Holy Trinity, La Ferrari P1 and Porsche 918 Spider, and we're back. Now, of course, we're running very, very, very late, but we have other good news in today's video. The pink Lamborghini Aventador Roadster is done at Lamborghini Salt Lake. We're gonna be picking that up, but this is a cold startup on a La Ferrari. <laughs> Now it's come to my attention that Luke is the scaredest, worst backseat driver oh, 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 ever. Go! Oh, 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 oh. This car is so good. It is so good. Let's go! Oh, I want a little Ferrari. I love Lamborghinis, but I'm starting to get that Ferrari bug, if you know what I mean. The crazy thing, though, is that the La Ferrari is the greatest Ferrari ever produced, so it's like, it's not really comparable, you know what I'm saying? I've officially decided that I am in love with this car, and I never want to return it to Ford Bay Destroyer. Uh, so sorry, bro, you're gonna have to keep the Vayer on. We're keeping the La Ferrari. That being said, it's so scary driving this car in traffic, because at any given moment, you got this Nissan Sentry, you got this Kia, you got the Chrysler Town & Country, like at any moment, they could turn into us, and that'd be a very bad day, because this car's worth four million dollars. Now yes, the irony is pretty funny. Welcome to Lamborghini of Salt Lake City, Utah, where we're gonna be doing this Holy Trinity photo shoot with the P1, with the La Ferrari, and of course the Porsche 918 Spider. Luke Terry, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Did they set this up just for you? This is the GT3 party. Why are you here? <laughs> Wow, that was an evil laugh. Are sick. you kidding me? Why am I here? Wow, that also that yours is so sick. There's a lot of grunting going on. Luke and I are getting old and La Ferrari is only getting harder and harder to get out of, but we're good. And to think they say the La Ferrari is impractical, check this out. We got a boot. Look at all this space. The Strad bag, it fits in perfectly. There's a link to the Strad merch in the description below. Whoa, that's a sick bag. Uh, unfortunately, these are all sold out. Like I mentioned earlier, unprecedented. This is the coolest car show in the entire history of Utah, presenting the craziest car that's ever descended on Utah. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the McLaren P1 HDK. Are you kidding me? That thing is so, so sick. We have the La Ferrari and the P1. Oh, yes. All right, Luke, this is your big day. This is your opportunity. Don't have to take you got, it. Yes, you do. Yes, Don't you do. This is part of the it. job description. Nope. You need to move the La Ferrari. Oh, dang it. Be very, very, very careful. This P1 is so sick, though. Like, this is the greatest, coolest car I've ever seen in my entire life. The HDK, like all the details on this, and it has a four liter twin turbocharged V8, so not the standard 3.8. They actually poured out the engine to make it faster and more powerful. This thing is so wicked. Whoa, 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 easy, easy, easy. Man, this guy gets a hybrid V12. Unbelievable, and he's gone just like that. Forget the GT3. Luke wants a La Ferrari, Parmesan, Nutelliano, breadsticks. We should go to Olive Garden yeah. today, bro. Yeah. We should definitely go to Olive Garden. How crazy is this? The 918 is going to be here momentarily. Oh, baby! Wow! Yeah. Sick, sick, sick! That's a stock exhaust, too! Mr. 458 Destroy, if you're watching today's video, I think you need to straight pipe it, though. Well, it's hard to even describe how sick this is. Unprecedented for the first time in the beautiful state of Utah. The Holy Trinity. This has been 10 years in the making. Who is this beautiful passenger? It's Are you kidding me? <laughs> of course you'd be in the 918. Of course. <laughs> like I said, roughly $10 million of cars here at Lamborghini and Salt Lake City. I know it doesn't make sense because we have the greatest McLaren ever built, the greatest Ferrari ever built, and the greatest Porsche ever built at the Lamborghini dealership. We, we like Lambo. We love Lambo. We adore Lambo. This is your moment, bro. I should be filming for Hinge right now. Hinge, Just dude. casually getting out. Flipping the hair, unbelievable, this guy. <laughs> look at that, look at that. Are you kidding me? That's our photographer, ladies and gentlemen. I still can't believe that we're actually filming the Holy Trinity here in the beautiful state of Utah. I gotta give a massive shout out to, of course, 458 Destroyer, who owns the La Ferrari, Utah supercar owner who owns the McLaren P1, and of course, to Envision for bringing the Porsche 918 Spider. When I first moved to Utah, it'd be lucky to see a Huracan, and now we have the Holy Trinity. Trinity out for a drive. How is this actually happening? I wore my Ferrari shoes too. Isn't that crazy? I, I never wore these shoes because I don't have a red Ferrari, but on today, today, I do. Wait, that didn't make sense. Luke, cut that out. Look at that view right there. And of course, we have Luke Terry hanging out of the mini. This is so sick. 
Well, boys, we have officially made it. The Holy Trinity is in my neighborhood right now. Like, what sequence of events led to this? I can only imagine what the neighbors are thinking. Like, look at this. What? Also, it's trash day. Did I put on my trash? I think I did. This is usually how things go in life. The wheels for this unicorn have just arrived. We gotta get the gladiator out of the way, and we really, really don't wanna clip the law for our, that would be a hard conversation to have with my insurance agent. That is such a crazy perspective, though. Wow. Oh my goodness, and of course, Nate looking so fly, so fly. Get that man a girlfriend, are you kidding me? I know, Luke, you want a Porsche GT3, but we actually decided to get you a 918. Oh yeah, video's not over though yet. Oh, yeah. It's only begun. It's only begun. Well, in one of the wildest sequences in the vlog, I don't know how this has happened. I'm very, very nervous because this car is effectively irreplaceable. We are driving the P1 HDK. I got to figure out how to open this thing. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I have committed the ultimate fashion faux pas. I'm wearing my red for my shoes and a, and a McLaren P1. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Luke, why are you worrying about you know what it? what you're doing? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Perfect. Well, somehow, some way. We have done it. We have done it. We have not crashed this time yet. I know I say this ad nauseum, but I can only imagine what my neighbors must be thinking with these cars. <laughs> Parked at the that house. guy thinks you're a drug dealer. That guy thinks you're on the lottery. Oh, whatever. That guy thinks you're a trust fund baby. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not true whatsoever. I, I filmed dumb YouTube videos. What's crazy is that I don't even own this house. It's a rental house, and somehow. The landlord doesn't even know this is happening. You know, like, crazier? I don't know if his homeowner's insurance policy covers this. And you don't even own any of these cars. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. Now, some of you guys might remember back in 2013, 2014, every single automotive journalist in the world wanted to get the Holy Trinity together, but nobody could do it because Ferrari wasn't going to allow it. And then fast forward a couple years later, I'm not sure the exact year, finally the Grand Tour got the Holy Trinity. And now fast forward another four years, somehow, some way, they're at my house in my driveway. Like what sequence of events has led to this? In the comments below, if you could have just one of the Holy Trinity, which would it be? LaFerrari 918 or the P1 HDK? I think I would take, I don't know, I want all three. Well, I'm still trying to wrap my brain around what just happened. Like how, how did we actually just arrange that? Obviously now we got to return the Mini Cooper back to Lamborghini Salt Lake City. Luke, let's see what this baby can do. The Holy Trinity is amazing but like, nothing can touch a mini. Well, we have arrived back here to Lamborghini of Salt Lake City, Utah. Luke, don't cry, bro. I know, the it's Mini Cooper, so you're gonna cool. miss it. Oh, gosh, stop. Look, dude. It's still here, I know, I know. It could be like a his and a his, you know, yours and mine. What about Katie? She, you could drive this. Okay, <laughs> there we go. I still can't believe what a crazy day that was, but the craziness is only gonna continue. So we're back in Lamborghini Salt Lake. The pink Lamborghini Aventador rose, so I dropped it off maybe like two or three weeks ago. It had like five different check engine lights. Well, the car is now done, ready to be picked up, and we have exciting news. As if the day couldn't get any better, the Lamborghini Aventador Roadster from Liberty Walk is finally back, but also check out what Lamborghini of Salt Lake City just got in today. It's a matte red SVJ with the bronze wheel. This car is currently for sale. I want to buy it, but the last thing we need is three Aventadors. Forget the GT3. No, you should get an no, Aventador. Not You're a Lambo there's, guy. There's, there's a but you love Lamborghinis. It is a great much. car. It's a great car, but that's a better car. Do you remember earlier in the vlog when you were talking about my neighbors and what they think we do for a living? Imagine when we pull up in a pink Aventador wearing this. They're really going to be skeptical. Yep, we've been out cooking, baby. <laughs> wow, Lucas Terry. It is a cold startup on a pink Lamborghini Aventador. It's going to be loud, boys. There's just something about this white interior. We look like we work for NASA. We're going to the moon in the Aventador. It sounds so good. Wait for it. So good. That's so good. This is crazy. There are no check engine lights on the Aventador. This car is in its best shape of its entire life. Let's go. Sounds so crazy. Now, not only did we get all the check engine lights fixed, we also got a very special tune done by M Engineering. The car sounds so much better and it's so much faster. Like, just, <laughs> this car, this is so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
The power bed is so much more smooth. The shifts are so good on the exhaust. It was already sounding amazing. It's like even louder. If you guys aren't from Ventador, you gotta get this too. I don't know exactly how much more power it has. It's so good though. M Engineering, they're down in Arizona. I'm gonna link them in the description below. This car drives so nice. It drives so nice. I forgot how bad the reflections are on this car. I actually cannot see right now. Like, I, I cannot see. Okay, we're, we're good. single thing about this car has turned out to perfection. Like, I'm absolutely in love with this car. This Rosa Cantus looks so good in the sun. The interior is so incredible. And now the car drives so, so, so much better with that tune from M Engineering. Now, if you have a Lamborghini, if you have a Ferrari, if you have a McLaren, if you got a Porsche, a Mercedes, like, M Engineering does some of the coolest tunes. This car, it shifts better, it's faster, it sounds better. Like, everything about it is better. I highly suggest them. Check out the link in the description below to M Engineering. This car, like, it's truly turned out better than I ever could have imagined. What a crazy day, like what an absolutely crazy day. Never in my entire life did I imagine a sequence of events that would lead to the Holy Trinity parked here at the house. Like, what? I, I still, I can't, I can't wrap my head around that. The Pink Aventador is back. We've got amazing things on the horizon. We're headed to Africa in two weeks to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. We're not prepared whatsoever. Luke and I have done no training. I had a chocolate Oreo milkshake today. I gotta improve my diet. I gotta improve my physique. Mentally, I'm not there. We got a lot to do, but on that bombshell, today's video is over. Work it, Nate. Work it, bro. Work it. Work it. Honestly, I'd swipe right. Absolutely. Holy, look at this shot. I was super like Nate, dude. <laughs> <laughs>